Buenos días, mi gente hermosa. ¿Cómo estáis? Me llamo Señor Herman y estoy aquí con mi amiga. Hola, me llamo Señorita Anderson. ¿Cómo estás? Estoy estupendo. ¿Y tú? Muy bien. Muy bien. Me alegro mucho. All right. Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Please be seated. Hey everybody, today is Thursday, October 29th. And today, Mr. Herman, Senor yeah. Herman, guess what today is? What is today? What national day is it? Today is National Oatmeal Day. I love that. I like you, oatmeal cookies. Does that count? Uh, yeah, I guess it could count. Do you eat oatmeal in the morning? Uh, I do. I do. My daughter loves oatmeal. Yeah. She eat it with bananas? She does. Bananas. Yeah. And we even put raisin, raisins in there. Yeah. Miss Stillwell loves oatmeal. This, that's her favorite food. So well, anytime you eat oatmeal, you got to think of Miss Stillwell. Shout out to Miss Stillwell. Excellent. Yep. We're going to do that. This is her day. It is her day. Excellent. <laughs> All right. Well, we have some backgrounds to talk about. Would yeah. you like to tell us about your background, Miss Anderson? Sure. So my background, this is the Royal Palace of Madrid. I went to Spain um, a few years ago and uh, three summers ago now. And this is... Um, this is in Madrid and yeah, this is, we got to tour the palace and this is the outside of the palace. It was really it's cool. a huge building. Huge. And it like keeps going to it. It's a gigantic square. Like it's, yeah, huge. It was wow. really cool. I can't yeah. believe it. And inside was incredible. So if I you bet. have time to like look at Google images of the Royal Palace of Madrid, you should check it out. I think I'm going to, thank cool. you. Looks neat. You had a beautiful day too. Yeah. Really cool. <clears throat> Very really neat. Cool. Well, thank you for sharing. Yeah. And last, last time I showed the students this amazing picture of a volcano. Did you all guess where this is? It looks hot. It, it, and it depends on which way the wind's blowing. So this is a volcano that I have been to and it is outside the capital city of Managua, which is in Nicaragua and in Central America. And it's one of the, it's a live volcano. So last time it, it erupted was in 2008. And this is a picture of going to the top. Do you see the parking lot right there? You get out of your car and that's the furthest you can go. And when what? you look, you look in and you can see the crater in the inside. It is so cool. People and drive up there? Yes, and if you notice, I don't know, it's hard to see, but the cars are actually backed in because of, wow. it's a lot of volcano. So if it starts to go, you got to get out there as fast as you can. So you have they to gotta floor it. You got to really, yeah, you got to go. I was a little scared up there, but notice, you know, I didn't notice any action happening. So it was, I was a little calm. Yeah, wow. it was really neat. So next uh, time I'm on the morning announcements, we are going to talk about this picture and another place that I have been and I'm going to give you all a big hint this is in the same country that they celebrate Dia de los Muertos which is coming up next week so I wanted to kind of connect those and talk about this so if you want to do a little research and find out where these where these are and tell us what they are um, I'm excited to tell you about it all right awesome are we ready to roar? We're ready to roar. All right, let's do it, Mrs. Anderson, on this Thursday morning. All right. Lions inspire others to roar because we are ready to learn, have opportunities to grow, accept everyone, and respect ourselves and others. Because here at Lorewood Grove, we are roaring, roaring with, with pride, pride and potential. All right. Have, Have a, a great wonderful, day. Have a great day, everyone. Adios. Adios.